JVP parliamentarian Bimal Ratnaika says that MPs have been informed to appear in court with regard to the petition filed by the Supreme Court over the Corp report on the Treasury bond scam. He claims that this is a breach of parliamentary privileges. In a case filed with the Supreme Court relating to MPs who took part in COP regarding the bond issue, we have been made the accused. We received the copies yesterday. This is a matter relating to conscience. Please allow me to speak. Then you can answer no. No, they are, they are talking on behalf of the all members of the court. Yeah, yeah. This is an issue in parliament. Are you acting as the leader of the house? I am speaking with the permission of the speaker. Please come and listen to me. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah, so we'll. I, I, I take action on that. Yeah. 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 As an MP, Bimal Ratnayaka can raise a privilege question in Parliament, but he is not speaking on behalf of us. He cannot speak on behalf of COPE. If he is speaking on behalf of COP, MP Handun Neti must consult us first and then speak. So if the courts can have an influence on parliament with regard to parliamentary matters, I believe that to be a violation of privileges. We are not afraid to appear for any case. This is an attempt to protect the rogues through the violation of parliamentary privileges. When the Supreme Court issues a summon naming an MP who committed a task as a respondent, should that MP comply with that? Or can they be made respondent to accept the view of this country and the Supreme Court cannot inquire or decide on the right of the parliament under parliamentary rights and privileges? I think former speaker Andrew Bandar and I have made a decision on that. You must look into that. This is why I said I will have to look into that.